New construction neighborhoods coming soon to Summerlin in 2024. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's roll. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today we're going to be talking about all the new neighborhoods that will be coming soon to Summerlin in 2024. Now we may have some more come up right now. This is what I know. But before we get started, make sure you show me some love and hit that like button. And most importantly, subscribe to my channel. Embark an exciting new journey with me as we unveil a glimpse into the future of Summerlin in 2024. Join me today as we delve into the details of the highly anticipated brand new construction communities that are set to redefine the landscape of this vibrant Summerlin enclave. Get ready to immerse yourself in a preview of what's to come when modern meets comfort and an essence of a community living takes on a whole new dimension. Summerlin in 2024 is not just a destination, it's a vision of urban living that invites you to witness the next chapter of this dynamic dynamic, thriving community. So as you know, right now, currently we have Kestrel Commons, which is going to be super close to the urban core. And currently in Kestrel Commons, we do have right now Nighthawk by KB Homes and also Viero by Woodside Homes. So what they're calling these like Kestrel Commons and Red Point and Red Point Square, they're actually calling them districts because they are close to the urban core and then villages are away from the urban core. So if you hear district when it comes to describing a certain neighborhood in Summerlin, that means it's going to be close to the urban core. And the first community will be in the Kestrel Commons Village and it's called Quell Cove by KB Homes. And this is going to feature four different three-story floor plans that range in size between 1651 square feet to 2302 square feet with two to four bedrooms, two to three and a half bathrooms, and all with two car garages. They're going to have the four different floor plans. You're going to have the uh, plan 1651, the plan 1920, plan 2226, and last plan 2302. If you want to learn more about all of these new communities coming soon to Summerlin, just click on the link down below to my blog post where it takes you to more detailed page of these communities and also to the builders page to learn more about every home that will be sold. Also in the Kestrel Commons district will be Ravencrest by Toll Brothers. And this will be a stunning new townhome community located in Summerlin West. And this townhome community will offer six, three and four story townhome designs with attached two car garages up to 2664 square feet and features such as entry courtyards, covered patios, plans with fourth level rooftop terrace, an elevator option, and a private community pool. So this reminds me of Cordillera. I do believe this will be quite similar to what Cordillera is gonna look like. Now the point of the Kestrel Commons Village and also that whole Kestrel side as well is to build up. You want to have three, four story homes, town homes. That way you can capture the beauty of the Las Vegas Strip and also the backdrop of the Red Rock Canyons. You're going to have beautiful mountain views in this district. And the reason why they started doing this was one for affordability purposes to make it a little more affordable than the rest of Summerlin and two because it's going to be super close to that urban core that I was mentioning. A lot of these are going to be townhomes and or homes that are going to be very small yards uh, with them very close together. Also in Summerlin West, in Reverence, there's a brand new townhome community called Monument. And this is going to be, and these townhomes are going to be ideal for great values and innovative features. It will feature two story multifamily townhomes with four unique home designs that range in size between 1600 to 1900 square feet. And they will have a mix of four plex and a 16 plex. Now this is the first time that Pulte has taken on a townhome type community. It is coming soon to early 2024. And again, it's just right off of the 215 and Lake Mead. Once you get off 
off the 215, you head west on Lake Mead, then you take a right into Reverence and it's right there, right before you hit Reverence. It was a vacant lot for many, many years and it's great to see that they're actually gonna be building something there. And to tie in the theme of things with all these townhomes, they're gonna have that townhome community there. Then we're gonna head to the southwest part of Summerlin in the Peaks Village. And I've done several videos on this. You'll have Pulte at Ascension and Toll Brothers at Ascension. And this is a newer community that will be opening up early 2024. A lot of the model homes won't be ready until probably May or June of 2024. Pulte at Ascension has now started taking pre-sales, but will open in 2024. And they will have 286 lots with three unique neighborhoods. You'll have Caprock at Ascension, Incline at Ascension, and the Point at Ascension. Again, if you want to learn more about it, I've done so much information on Ascension. You can go to my website at neighborhoodsinlasvegas.com, click on Summerlin Neighborhoods, and then find Ascension link. But they will have 11 unique home designs here, and they will range in size between 2297 square feet to 4500 square feet. All three communities will be guard gated, and there will be a desirable plan clubhouse within the community. Prices are going to start in the low one millions, uh, depending on which uh, neighborhood or division, subdivision you buy into. Now the smaller ones will start in the low millions and then they will go up in price. Next you'll have Toll Brothers at Ascension and this will be featuring one and two story luxury homes with modern architecture and there will be an exclusive amenity center in this community. There will be 274 home sites over three collections which is Crestline, High Rock and Ridgeline and there will be total of nine home designs ranging in size between 3,400 to a little over 5,000 square feet. Prices will start in the low 1.4 million up to 1.8 million for the bigger floor plans. So it's kind of interesting to see how expensive this community is going to start out. Considering when uh, Mesa Ridge started out, it was definitely not that high. Probably half the price when Mesa Ridge started. Now Mesa Ridge is like two million, three million dollar homes. So that area must be calling for these more luxury neighborhoods. And it's also located right off of uh, Town Center and Tropicana. Canada, right in between there on the way to the Mesa Village. So it's super close to lots of ultra luxury neighborhoods. You also have the Summit close by. You have the Ridges close by. That little one stretch, you'll see so many expensive high-end cars. You'll see the G-Wagons and Range Rovers and everything, you name it, it'll have it on that street. <laughs> um, so it's kind of interesting to see how they will fare with that. Again, they plan to open in the early 2024. I don't know if Toll Brothers is taking pre-sales yet. I know that they are doing the VIP list, unlike Pulte, which they have been doing pre-sales and selling some of the lots. Lastly, we're gonna head up to Summerlin West at Grand Park District, and a Los Angeles-based home builder, KB Homes, plans to build 200 single-family residents on 32 acres in Summerlin West Grand Park, and KB Homes purchased this for $44.7 million dollars which the Clark County records show so they're going to be right in the new district but they don't plan on opening until end of 2024. The community is going to be called Alton and it's going to have one and two story homes that range in size between 1817 to 3063 square feet with three to five bedrooms. So this will be located right off of the 215 Beltway as you head up I guess Summerlin Parkway. Um, it's I show a map of where the whole new New Grand Park District is going to be. But it's cool that they finally announced at least the first community that will be built in this new district. And the reason they're calling it district is because it's going to be close to the urban core. <laughs> so little education here on Summerlin. I'm still learning. I've been covering Summerlin for many years and I'm always learning about everything there is to know about Summerlin. And it's always an education for me and I'm more than happy to share everything that I learn about Summerlin. Sometimes they're super hush-hush about what will happen in each of these new villages or districts so I have to do some extensive digging to find out you know sometimes they won't share it until it happens. In conclusion the future of Summerlin in 2024 holds the promise of a dynamic and enriching living experience as we eagerly anticipate the arrival of these brand new construction communities. From architectural marvels to sustainable initiatives each development contributes to the evolving tapestry of Summerlin setting the stage for a contemporary and thriving community. 
Stay tuned for the unfolding of a new era in Summerlin, where the essence of living reaches new heights and residents are welcomed into a landscape designed for the demands of tomorrow. The excitement is palpable and the future of Summerlin beckons with the promise of unparalleled and vibrant living experience in 2024 and beyond. If you want to learn more about Summerlin and all the different villages and districts, you can always go to my website at neighborhoodsinlasvegas.com, scroll to the top where it says Summerlin Neighborhoods, and everything will be there that you need to know. Not only are there different villages, there are five different retirement communities in Summerlin. I have done a video on all the different villages in Summerlin. If you want to learn more about it, again, just click on it. And also, any home for sale in each of those villages will be on my website. Anyway, guys, if you are thinking about buying or selling in Summerlin, you can always call me at 702-370-5112 or I've posted a link to a buyer and seller form down in the description below. As always, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and most importantly, subscribe to my channel because I like to keep you informed of everything that's happening in Summerlin. Thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to see you on the next one.